Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the Portal Gun plugin. So this is a really small but awesome plugin which allows you to have a portal gun from the video game that I'm sure all of you are familiar with. And it allows you to create two portals and you can go from one to the next and you can put them on different blocks on the floor, on the ceiling, and you can use it to create a small mini game for your players. And there's a few items associated with it and commands and we will show you how to use that today. So if we do forward slash portal gun and then the question mark it's going to show you all of the commands. Now if you do the forward slash boots command that will give you a set of portal boots which will prevent you from taking damage similar to in the video game. Now the next thing you can get is the restarter block. Uh, so if you pop two of these down, like so, it will act as a door that can reset your portals. And then finally, if we actually do portal gun by itself, that will give us a blaze rod, which is our portal gun. Now, just like the main game, you can left click for one and right click for the other. So imagine I wanted to get over here. Obviously, without creative mode, I could not do it. So what I can do is left click here and then I can right click over here somewhere and you can see there's a really cool particle effect in kind of an oblong circle um, and if we jump through it we will be teleported to the other portal. So the main thing to remember is the block you click is going to be the bottom half of the portal so if I left click there you will see that that is the bottom half and I can pretty much put it anywhere, I can even put it on the floor if I wanted and then jump through it like this um, and what you could do is really make it pretty interesting so if you've got a run up, you can actually throw yourself off and you can make some pretty interesting uh, courses based on this to test a player's skill. Now if you want to get rid of them, you can do forward slash portal gun remove and then either all or a player's name and that will get rid of all your portals. They will slowly disappear and one more particle and it's gone. So that's how you would use it in game. So if you are talented enough to make a cool map, you would be able to do that and give it a try, see if your skills are up to the challenge. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel, and if we go down to the portal gun folder, we will see what's in here. So obviously we've got the language folder, so you can choose which one you want. So there's three options available. And then if we go into the config.yml, we can have a look in here. So do we want the portals to save, yes or no? The maximum placement length, 80 blocks. Do you want them to be removed on death, yes or no? And then these are the sounds when you teleport and create them, so you could change that if you really wanted to. And whitelist block. So you might remember from the portal games, only certain surfaces allowed you to put a portal on them, and you can do the same here. So you can only put a portal on all of these. Now, because I'm op, I don't listen to this and I can put it on any block I want whereas normal players would have to follow these five or however many you put in here. Uh, do you want to remove them when a the player leaves? Yes or no? What do the particles look like? It's a flame and a happy villager. Use only on yours? Yes or no? Whitelist blocks? Do you want that on? Yes or no? And then the portal gun itself is a blaze rod and the language is English. So not too much in here, very easy to configure and it's just a really fun plugin that you can kind of mess around with and build maps. So here we are on the Spigot page and as you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19 and if we scroll down there's some images. So this is the sort of thing I'm talking about where you can actually create maps that are difficult and people have to think about how they would traverse them. And then we've obviously got the config and the language file here. But that is the plugin. If you want to download it, head over here. But if you need a server to host it, on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.